Hey guys, welcome back to another video for SCP Secret Laboratory server related stuff. I'm um, sorry that I haven't been uploading recently. I haven't been able to find much time in my hum day. I've been doing a lot of other stuff and been pretty busy. So um, I will be making a couple of videos right now that will either all come out when this one comes out over the day or over the week. Most likely over the week. Um, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like, and if you haven't already subscribed, it helps a lot, and it makes the YouTube algorithm uh, make my channel um, show up more and become recommended for people, so it does mean a lot. So in this video today, I will be showing you how to install the SCP Secret Laboratory Dedicated Server Tool on Linux. Um, I will be testing this on Ubuntu 18.04. This will work on Debane and CentOS, though I have seen people having issues on CentOS, but they have um, figured it out. So there's still some hope for CentOS users out there. And before we get into this video, you should probably um, already have very basic knowledge of Linux and command line. Um, if you don't, I would recommend just you know looking up the very basics of it and just really simple tutorials otherwise you are going to have some issues um, with this video and please do not come in the description or uh, the comment section and asking for help it's your fault for not knowing the basics for this video we'll be using my website at um, scpsl-faq.xyz I'll put in the description um, I am at the top right under server, um, how to make a server, same page, nothing different, uh, and I will be following along with this. So the first thing you should obviously do is do not install the SCP server on root user. For the love of God, do not. I don't even need to explain. You already know, just do not be a dumbass. Uh, make a separate user, which I already have a separate user on my server, and that's where I'll be doing all this. So the first thing you're going to have to do is install Mono. Um, so um, Mono is for Ubuntu, Debane, um, Raspberry, I'm assuming for the Raspberry Pi, um, and CentOS, and Fiorda. Fed, Fedora, sorry I said that wrong. Um, obviously we're testing this on Ubuntu 18.04, so we would come here, right click, or highlight all this, right click, copy, and paste it inside of our console right here. But we already have Mono installed, so there's no point in doing that. So we'll just close that out. Um, I will put that in the link, I'll put that link in the description. So the next thing you're going to have to do is install Steam CMD with um, sudo atp install steam cmd. Um, this will be different for depending on what um, distro you are using, but uh, sudo atp or yeah atp should be on Ubuntu and Debian. Um, for CentOS, I think it's like yum. Um, just Google that. Uh, but we already have. Um, Steam, CM, Steam CMD installed on my server, so um, as Ari says, it's already installed um, i386. But if you do have an issue installing um, Steam CMD, which would go for um, um, CentOS users and other distros, you're going to have to install it using curl to get it from the um, um, Steam website. Um, actually, you could probably highlight this. Take into browser. Um, hmm. Oh, because um, yeah, you could probably mess around with that and get it. But um, yeah, you could just use curl or just download it on your computer and drag it over to your server. Um, I'm not going to talk about this part, but yeah. So when you do have Steam CMD installed, uh, simply type it in console line um, or command line. Um, 
so when you do start this up for the first time, it will do like an updating thing, but we've already I've already ran it on here, so there's no point. So the first thing you're gonna have to do inside of this um, console for Steam CMD is type login anonymous, which I just copied because I'm not good with spelling. Um, also, one thing I should point out: uh, do not mind this; it won't harm anything. It's not gonna mess with anything. With anything, it's perfectly fine. Oh my god, I copied it. Massive brain. Uh, doing this will basically log you into the Steam servers where you can download the decade server tool. Next thing you're going to have to type is force under slash install under slash dir. This is basically um, the location of where it's basically the location of where you want to install the server. So actually I'm a dumbass and forgot to make a uh, server folder so let's do that real quick I already did it with mkdir command um, I'm stupid my bad uh, back to login ominous and force install dir so our location be home or, sl or slash home slash scp so test slash scp so server slash stupid error okay now you're going to have to type app under slash update 996560 so basically um, install the scpso server technically it is updating it but it's seeing that oh it's not installed so i'm going to add all the new files so yeah technically it's updating Come on. I love it when Steam does it. Steam CMD does this. Okay, so now it's done. It'll say su success <laughs> in green. Um, simply, you could just click uh, Control C. It'll take you out. And now, let's. Uh, ooh, okay. I'm retarded. But that's alright. I already had it. So, okay. It should. Nope. That's not a command. I'm retarded. <laughs> okay. So, um, cd into where you install the server and simply type dot slash local admin with the caps. Then after that, you could do an argument and the argument contains um, the port you want to start the server. So, I'll just do 7777. So, when you do this for the first time, it will say welcome to the local admin configuration wizard um, you could go through this um, I'm just obviously going to skip well not skip just yeah go through this quickly did I do oh my god I clicked edit no wonder why um, my fault my fault <laughs> My fault. Obviously, the IP address, uh, service started. Um, you will see red right here. That's a minute. Um, your server won't be visible on the public server list and IP. Um, that's because you're going to have to verify your SCP SO server. Um, I do have that on my FAQ website at the bottom right here. Um, I could make a video um, for it if you're really that, like, kind of brain dead on how to do it. But, um, yeah, so that's basically, yeah, how you install um, SE a SCP SL server on Linux. Now, we can go over here. Uh, refresh. Uh, basically, the, where the, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> all the config stuff will be located in inside of dot config. So you can see right here we have SCP Secret Laboratory. If we go inside of config seven 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 seven, that is the port of the server. If you did a different port, yeah, obviously go to that one. And inside you'll see all the config stuff. Um, 
Um, if you are using a firewall, remember to um, allow the port through the firewall. So, I right, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. If you do need any help, please comment below. I'll try to help you as best as I can. And until next video, peace.